Pearl Cookie Eat is proudly sponsored by Board Bia and StopFoodWaste.ie. Welcome to Grow, Cook, Eat. Each week we're growing one star vegetable and we'll show you how easy it is to get from pot to plate. No matter how much time, space or experience you have, it's amazing what you can grow with just a little effort. You learn all the tips and tricks to growing glorious greens in the garden. So what are we waiting for? Let's get growing. Karen, do you like our lovely orange pergola? I love our lovely orange pergola. I can tell you this much. It'll give the Great Wall of China a run for its money, though. I think you can see it from space. But I love the colour of it, and I love the colour of these mm. delicious carrots just harvested. One of the most amazing things you can grow because yeah. of the flavour the sweetness of these homegrown carrots straight out of the soil. Yum. They're absolutely amazing. And come here to me, how did we get to hold a lovely bunch of fresh carrots? Yeah, so amazingly, just 12 weeks ago, we sowed a tiny little seed in the soil, that's how it all began. So check this out. Guess what I have in the lava? Uh, I don't usually like this game. What have you got in your lava? Do not be afraid, it's <gasps> only it's seeds. It's our carrot seeds. Yeah. Hurrah. Look how small they are. So they are tiny, aren't they? First thing to say is do not ever sow carrot seeds on a windy day because they'll just all blow away. They're paper thin and just really light it's and feathery. Light. When we're sowing them, is it literally one at a time? That's going to take forever. If you tried to space them out the right width for a carrot, it would take you all day. What we actually do is we sow them a little bit thick, thickly along the row like that. Okay, cool. And so then, I get a consistent line. Yeah, yeah. so you can okay. just sort of sprinkle them along like that. Okay. And so they're going to be way too close to grow properly like that. But what we'll do in a couple of weeks' time is we'll come back and we'll, we'll, we'll do what's called thinning them out, which okay. is just basically removing every second one or every third one to the Sorry. right spacing. Sounds like a plan. Simple Can as that. Can we get growing? Let's go do it. That's it. All right. OK, good. So we're back to our raised bed. Are we ready to just make out the rows and get sowing? We almost are. OK. There's a little, couple of little things we need to do first, right? Carrots are one of the only vegetables where they're pretty fussy about the soil that they go into, right? Okay. So the way, the way to think about it is, if you think about a carrot, you put the little seed on top of the soil, which we're gonna do in a minute, and the root, which is the bit that we eat, goes down into the soil okay. in search of nutrients and water and all that crap, Good. right? Yeah, makes sense. So what happens is if it goes down and it finds like a stone or you know some really hard soil or whatever, it's just gonna either fork to go around it and you end up with really forked carrots, which are Does that the matter? Bed. Not really, but they, they're just, a, Pain the ass to peel. <laughs> okay. So the other on forced carrots. and the other thing is they'll either do that or they'll stop growing altogether, right? Okay. Okay. So it's the one one vegetable where you generally need to do a little bit of work on the soil. So what you want ideally is about a spade's depth of soil. It doesn't have to be really fine, but just no stones and no sort of major hard grounds. Over and back with the rake. You see already it's starting to, you know, the bigger yeah. the bigger bits are starting to crumble out and you get a nice kind of even surface then that's ready for planting. Ready for yeah? planting, okay. Right, What's so next? next thing we do, we have a, a lovely hoe here. Yeah. Yeah, and what we need to do is make out our, our rows. So carrots, 15 centimetres apart. Perfect. Half a ruler, about that length apart. So nice. if our first row is here, yeah. second row is going to be here. Okay. That makes sense? Yep. And the way you make your rows, so carrots are sown... this way. Carrots are sown about five centimetres deep, right? Yeah. So what we need to do is, I use the back of the hole like this to make, make a little straight roll like that. Get it to about 15. It's, it's not straight. It's fine, dude. <laughs> Jesus. So there we go, right? Okay. So what you do is you clean up the, clean it up at the back with your hand like that. Just make sure it's kind of. So again, taking out more of the clumps. More yeah, of the, exactly. Yeah. You want no, no clumps like that where the seed might fall into it. Just do a nice job kind of cleaning it up with your hands. So I've got my seeds here. Okay. So putting them in there. Sprinkle along the row, yeah? Okay. Nice even kind of spread along the whole, the whole row. So, so, so. And then we're ready to cover it over, yeah? Okay, wait, 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 wait. A little bit more. Okay, nearly at the end. Now. Perfect. All right. Last thing we need to do is rake the soil back oh, over. Oh, so it's right? not a... No, Lit okay. again, a little bit of precision. So what you need to do is use your rake, just push the soil across like that. Okay. 
Same in each, just go out a diagonal like that, cross so, over. So, it. like a really light touch with the carrots, yes, basically. Yes, exactly. Okay, nice. And then tamp it down with the back of the rape. Okay, we're not, not so light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But once you've got them in, you just need to get them nice and flat. A couple of little things we need to remember, right? One is to get some water on this. You don't ever let a carrot bed dry out while you're waiting for it to germinate. Okay. And second thing is, don't forget to put a label on it. Always label. What you sowed and the date you sowed it on. Sounds like a plan. Let's All do right. it. All right. So we're here with our lovely carrots. When we sowed these carrots, you remember, we kind of sprinkled them across the way like that, and now we've ended up with loads and loads of... Yeah. And there's not enough space for the carrots to, to grow on. There's a very strange concept in, in growing called thinning out, which okay. is something we're going to have to do now. It's literally taking out all of the, the seedlings, bar the ones that we can leave at kind of two inches apart. And as I said, it feels really weird when yeah. I started. I was like, really, are we going to throw all these out or whatever? And that's exactly what we're going to do. And, and literally, they're, they're a goner. Like, we can't just take them and put them into a, a container no. or... No, okay, absolutely not. Carrot seedlings, unfortunately, they don't transplant at all. So you have to just throw them out. Okay. So we need to get stuck in because we've got loads to pull out here, right? Okay. So what you want to do is allow kind of two inches between each one. Okay. And, and like the reason, incidentally, we didn't get one carrot seed and just go there, there, there at two inches, which it seemed like the obvious thing to yeah. do, is that they're very vulnerable at this stage to slugs and stuff. So you, you sow more than you need, need and then... To have enough. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The other thing that, that becomes a factor with this, there's a weird little, little pest of the carrot, which is called the carrot root fly, which is a dastardly foe a of dastardly. the carrot. dastardly! Good word. Yeah. Now, the carrot root fly, what it does is it lays its eggs at the top of these little seedlings and then they burrow into the, into the carrots and basically make a mess of them, right? Oh. So it's an awful kind of a pest to have. It's got a really acute sense of smell. So somewhere off, like 10 miles away, right at this minute, there's a carrot root, carrot root fly going <laughs> and smelling these carrots, I kid you not. So it's really important that even though we're pulling these out, right, that we actually discard these somewhere else, like throw them into your neighbor's garden so that oh, they get the carrot mean. root fly. Okay, so they, the fly is going to follow the scent of this. Exactly. Okay. So I'll get rid of these yep. in one little minute, but though, for now, can you come around here? Sure. Because, again, I want to talk about us growing these um, carrots in a, in a container. Yeah. So I have a good deep container. Yes, very nice. Holes drilled in the bottom of it for drainage. Yeah. Yeah, filled with good old... Potting compost. Potting compost, that's yeah. right. You know me and my scepticism about container growing. You need to get on board with this, yeah. dude. It's a real thing. But it's a real thing. If yeah. you want deep carrots, you need a deep container. If it's too shallow, it's not going to work. It's going to work. You're okay. going to get stump roots. So, yeah, so shallow, shallow rows. Three rows of carrots, perfect. So just sprinkle them along the row. And eventually, we're going to be, we're going to be thinning these out as well to the same, same spacing. And then just cover it over the same way. Very important to have the drainage holes in there. Yeah. If, if you don't, it's just going to fill up with water on a wet day. Okay, so sadly I've lost the rows off this lovely watering can. Yeah. So I'm just going to use my fingers. Yeah, just be careful not to kind of flush them away. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Ah, ah, perfect. Haha, <laughs> 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 now do you like container growing? Yeah, and like okay. again in, in here, you could, get, you could get 20, 30 carrots easily in a little container like yeah. this. So lovely. it's a fantastic thing to do. Yeah, good thing to do. Thank you very much. See, You're it all welcome. works. I'm on board. In Ireland, we're really lucky to have access to lots of great food. But food waste is a serious issue. Food Cloud is an organisation tackling this problem head on with an ingenious solution. So Food Cloud Hubs is a social enterprise that matches businesses that have surplus food to charities that can use it. The stats are fairly startling. 30% of food produced globally is actually wasted. Okay. Um, you know, to put that in context, it's land the size of China, Mongolia and, Ma and Kazakhstan all combined together to grow food that's never actually eaten. And then on the other hand, obviously, there is um, charities that could use that food to support those who can't access it normally. Tell me a little bit about the, um, the charities that you partner with then to distribute the food. Yeah, so basically we would get large volumes into the warehouse here. We log it on our system and then we offer it out to our network of charity partners. We have about 170 charities. They would place their order and the product would either be collected here in the warehouse 
suppliers or they'd get it delivered out to them. It's kind of like a wholesaler, but it is a little bit like Ready Steady Cook because we don't have control <laughs> over what What's comes in. in. Okay. Well, do they have very different requirements? Yes, with 170 charities, they're all using food for different reasons. Um, some it's part of drug rehabilitation, some it's you know an after school club, but they've recognised a need to also feed the um, kids that are coming in and out. So food is really powerful for bringing people together. Um, and I suppose our ambition on the charity side is to provide them with access to a source of really good food so that they can save money and put it back into whatever their core mission their is. Mission is yeah. We're in Dublin 8 and I'm just about to head in to speak to the wonderful people at the Sophia Housing Association to find out exactly the impact being part of Food Cloud Hub has. One of my big things when I started Sophia, I, I said I really wanted, particularly children, I wanted everybody but the children to have good food. Mm. It was really important. Now Trevor Cairns, who is our, our resident chef, is an exceptional cook. His thing is cooking good food at a reasonable cost. But for Sophia, uh, initially we were paying for all the food. Now we're in a change position with uh, Food Cloud Hub, which has made a huge difference to what we do. So we get very good meals for the children, for residents, for staff. So it's a win-win again for everybody. When I was growing up, my mother was always a baker. And every Sunday morning we baked. And a kitchen is the heart of a home. And when you have good food in the house, I think it creates a nice atmosphere and I think it lifts people's spirits. Today's uh, dinner for the children where it was a nice lamb stew um, and some nice palm muesling which is really creamy mashed potato. Again, today would have been 80% food hub, food hub produce. So 80% of the lunch today came from, from food hub. hub. The spuds? Spuds, lamb, carrots, celery. Amazing food that you serve here to the residents and other people who come in from the yeah, conference centre. we've center. got our residents to come in for dinner. Obviously, we've seen our children in today for lunch every day. Again, with Food Hub on board, our food costs has dropped, I'd say, 70% easily. Grow Cookies is proudly sponsored by StopFoodWaste.ie and BoardBF.